Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hard Spent 4 Kaiserik as Norway. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So we should be having our election next month. Sweden's going to be having their election next month. So we'll see what exactly they do. Um, Because they have to do like such a very specific uh, a specific group of events to actually go syndicalist. Because they need to first elect the opposition. They got to do the, co the coalition. And then they have to not be cooed. Any other situation than that will probably lead to the Norwegians joining the Reichs Pact. So, I think they did just have their election. I think I gotta click here. So, they did go Social Democratic. Did they have the coalition? They did not do the coalition, so they cannot go Syndicalist. And I think they would still join up with the, uh, the Reichs Pact. So, Operation Being at War with Sweden is still a go. Which is fantastic. Um, yeah, let's get the radio while we're here. Our extra research slot is going to be available in just 10 more days. Yeah, I know we don't have a template for the artillery. So don't worry about that quite yet. We have 67. And each one of you takes 12. We can, we can actually we can put those in now. We'll uh, be pretty good on that. Because, yeah, just being four down, that should be resolved within, yeah, like two weeks. It's not a big deal. And we got a research speed upgrade. The next one's a year, which I think is a little bit too long. So we can improve machine tools. Our extra research slot, we're going to use that for construction speed. Whenever it actually becomes available, there we go. So we now have the FFI. You're going to do construction. And the election's going to be happening this month. So I'm not too sure. Like, do we j either wait for... I mean, you're the Oslo Analyzer. It's an event. I actually don't know what it does for us. Some time ago, Presser Roslin returned from Harvard University, studying mechanical computers. With our support, Mr. Roslin claims to proceed any other computer in existence. I mean, we'll, we'll see what that does. But the election of 1936. Today, the Norwegian people elect a new parliament. The election is tightly fought and decide the course of Norway in the foreseeable future. There's four possible outcomes. First of all, the Radical Socialist Labour Party is campaigning on a platform of socialist reform. The Society Guard has declared that such a victory would force their hand. Whatever that means. Another possibility is the Social Democratic Labour Party with coalition of the labor liberals. Furthermore, the market liberal conservatives could gain power with the Farmers Party. Well, of course we're going to go for the... Uh, we lose some stability, but we're going to go for the Radical Socialist. We'll do this. 47%. Choose a prime minister. So you are political power gain, construct speed minus 4%, or stability and war support, which is exactly what I need to boost this up. So after gaining a surprising plurality in the election, Labour Party will now form will attempt to form a government. There are two candidates for the po post prime minister. Olav Schlieve, the party leader, is a natural choice of the post. However, there's some calling for a moderate lead the government. Well, how much political power gain do we get? We get two. I mean, we're not researching anything, so you know what? We will... Well, I'm going to save just in case this matters. We will save the game. Because I don't believe this... This doesn't unlock... You. You're not available yet. So we'll, we'll keep saving our points for now. Sure, we can sign a non-aggression packs. I don't know really what the non-aggression packs are for at this point. The conservatives protest. The conservatives and far-right parties have issued a formal protest against the formation of the radical labor government. The claim said government is a threat to the stability of the nation and demand that the king uh, appoints someone else. However, the king is not inclined to break with parliamentary procedure and has stated, I am also a king for the syndicalist. It's the will of the people. But we now have war support, so we can actually go for uh, early mobilization when we can. We are getting slightly less political power, but it's really not that bad. So we'll see. I I'm sure... Well, next election is in October, which has already passed. Oh, October 1939. Right. Okay, never mind. So, like, are you going to... Like, if you, you know, if you're not firing it quite yet, I'm curious about what the Oslo Analyzer is. So, you know, let's just get this going. Like, we could have gotten this done a little bit sooner. But I did also think that we'd be able to press that button a little bit faster as well. So there should be, like, a coup event happening soon. Fuyu Long has been elected president of the United States. 
Governor Rieg has criticized the government. Nikolai Rieg, former uh, Minister of Finance and current governor of the Norwegian Central Bank, has begun a harsh criticism of the government in public. According to Rieg, the uh, country is bound for economic devastation and he strongly encourages the opposition to defeat the government. Governor Rieg is quite an influential man and his opposition is bound to be shared by the established political parties. Why won't he shut? I'm losing so much political power or so much stability. No wonder I need so many stability events in my uh, focus tree. But with Huey Long being elected to uh, the President of the United States, there will definitely be a four-way civil war happening there sooner th rather than later. By that, I mean basically March. Huey being elected president isn't fantastic. Uh, mostly because um, it's going to make probably the syndicalists a little bit weaker than we would like. The scope of socialist reform. Within our, par uh, within our party and government, we need to decide the scope of our reform agenda. As we only have parliamentary plurality, we would need to support other parties to pass the laws. The majority of our party wants to enact some limited labor uh, legislation, including work hours and safety regulations. That would easily support from the Social Democrats and the Liberals. A minority believes we should exploit a recent electoral victory and attempt to push for nationalization of critical industries. While such a plan won't easily pass parliament, we could uh, perhaps garner some support with certain right-wing elements. So we lose some political power or we gain 10. You know, let's do some major reform. Let's try to let's try to pass that through. Mostly because we're trying to also get the coup event to fire at some point too. Because I think at this point, the Democratic mandate is completely locked out. It's either consolidation of power or workers' victory. Quisling and the militia mobilized. This morning, Vudkun Quisling occupied a studio of Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation and started broadcasting on the radio. He announced that Parliament would pass a motion of no confidence against the government the following day. To keep the peace and secure orally transition of powder, Sam Funs Renet would mobilize and protect important public institutions. In the end, Quisling justified these actions by blaming the government for its dangerous revolutionary plans. As the government took to the streets, the police refused to take action. Clashes soon developed between guardsmen and workers' militia as the situation rapidly escalated. Another 10% stability drop. Fantastic. The unions have mobilized. As the crisis continues to escalate, the trade unions have mobilized and declared a general strike. Martin Transmil, one of the most important syndicalist figures in Norway, declared support for the government and announced the bourgeois opposition. According to uh, Transmil, the Labour Party will not stand on its own. All the bourgeois elements is plotted to crush his organization of the common man. The worker must now take into his own hands, claims Tamil. As the battle rage in the street of Oslo, it seems that the police and the army have orders to remain in their barracks. So we get some general strikes. So yeah, my uh, economy, not great. The hour of decision. As the battle of Oslo rages for the third day, power hanging in the balance. Both sides have a certain claim to legitimacy. Whoever captures the capital will likely control the country. The workers' guards claim to be defending the legitimate government, while Sam Freudsvenet wishes to uh, enable the parliamentary downfall of some government. As the battle reaches its climax, the worker militias take control of the capital and impeach the bourgeois elements. And yeah, that's Syndicalist Norway. With the help of the trade unionists, the la labor government has managed to secure, survive the bourgeois attack on the rightful government. Uh, now they have seen the power and capability to reform Norway in a manner that will not be seen before. At the end, Norway will achieve socialism. All power to these workers. Uh, who else we get? We get improved relation modifier minus 50%. Who cares? That doesn't matter at all. The division attack minus 10% is pretty bad. Apparently it also automatically forces us into the uh, the international. What do you mean you've rejected my, my petition to join the international? Excuse me? Um I didn't know you were allowed to do that. I mean I knew they were allowed to do that. But, you know, I didn't know they were allowed to do that. Um, that's incredibly rude. Also, it doesn't even seem like there's actually a button to, uh, to even join the faction. So I'm not too sure what we do now. I guess I gotta, like, cheat my way into it at some point. But I don't even know how you would do that, because the button's actually not even there. Quest land lease, we must be at war. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Can I fix this somehow? Because that seems a, a little bit much that um, I am not able to join the faction. Um, let's see if I can change it in here. 
But that that's ridiculous. I, I don't know why they would uh refuse my offer. Uh, by the way, uh load. I don't know, can you change custom game rules while in here? Or are they locked? The game it might be locked. I'm not I'm not too I cannot change it. I cannot customize the game rules while we're not in the faction. So I don't know what I can do about that. Just one moment. I'll try to figure that out. Okay, so I, I figured it out. Um, so we're, what we're going to do is basically we're going to fire. Event Norway, 143 towards us. This is basically what France saw. We're going to hit yes to that. And then uh, f there we go. France accepted our request. Just had to look through what all the events in the game were, but now we are part of the international, I believe. No, we're not, not part of the international. But they keep firing the event on France until um. I might need to keep firing the event on France until they agree to it. You know, okay, well, let's, let's, let's do it that way. There we go. Now I've done it. Beautiful. So now we're part of the international. It did take a, it did take a little bit, but there we go. We fixed the uh, problems that we were facing. Basically, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll join your little thing here as well. Thank you. I don't think we're, maybe, maybe they're actually where they were supposed to say no, but it's, it's fine. We, we worked it all out anyways, and this is it is what it is. So the Oslo Analyzer. Please, I want to read this. The scientist Van Rosland uh, recently proposed the construction of a large mechanical computer. Uh, the Oslo Analyzer. What are you going to give us? Oh, an event. It's already it's already finished. Lovely. So you know what? Let's get our 100 political power, which we already actually have 105 of. So let's go up to early mobilization again. Because now we actually have the uh, the ability for people not to be mad about it. But I did see we did get a new event here. We have a device, defensive army mentality, which is army attack and recovery rate. I don't know if there's any way we can really change that. Unfortunately, ooh, recruit population plus 1% would be nice. Yeah, I think we're just completely stuck on defense. Oh, but you're 2% mob. Oh, you're 2%. Or attack and defense boost. So we can only get you if you go for Fletcher. Planning speed, bonus infantry equipment, and you need flexible planning. Rifles don't matter. So basically, do I want artillery boost? With cheap artillery? No, probably like the cheaper infantry. So we might actually go for Rook's plan. Not who I was actually expecting to go with, honestly. But I think it works out all well and good for our purposes here today. So like, what are you guys doing? You're getting some industry in Scotland. You aren't doing anything at all. Military buildup. Italy is not in the international quite yet. They do join once the second military actually begins. Which shouldn't take too, too long. Do we also know what America is doing? So I'm curious if they're going to either suppress the syndicalist... Or if they're going to try to boost their, their own strength. Are they 16 on knock rate? Okay, so they're going to boost themselves. Which, honestly, I think is the better of the two options in regards to what we want. I think a stronger American Union state isn't as bad as a weakened Socialist Party of America. A weakened uh, CSA. To me, that makes the uh, perfect amount of sense. Research slots available. Let's go for... Because now that we're actually part of this little uh, thing here. It's like everybody's going to grab battle plan. But actually, we, we can get this done as well. So let me just see. Because you don't... Okay, you, you can... Uh, petitions for some advice. Okay. Doesn't seem too bad for us. The established to make diplomatic relations, I think, kind of is garbage. What do you actually do? We can support the Swedish unions. Wouldn't it be like bad for us? I think it'd actually be probably quite good. We'll weaken them at least a little bit. Ooh, 100% research boost on you. Yeah, we got to, right? We're going to use our boost on that. 
get a research speed going as fast as possible. You haven't changed anything, unfortunately. And do you have an election? No election. Always false, always false. So it looks like you've probably just staying as the old order. Which is unfortunate, because I really, really, really w wish you had gone for a more nationalist government. Just so you'd stay out of our business. But I guess, I mean, how much does Finland have? Because Finland, we're, again, we're hoping just gets invaded by the Russians. They have 621 divisions as well. Russia. How many troops do you guys got? You have 56 to 123. I feel like Russia recently hasn't been able to actually field as large an army as we would have liked. Um, 1939. You know, research gain efficiency, 108 days, not too, too bad. We do actually make a decent amount of stuff in our country as well. We got a three-way, or four-way civil war, of course. Assistants have arrived, 25 political power. I will take it. What are you guys, what are, what's your plan? What's your plan here? CSA grew one state. We'll see how strong the federal government can stay. My, my guess is that they're going to be pretty weak. I don't think they ever lose Virginia. They never lose Kentucky. They've lost Tennessee. So just this right here, because MacArthur is in such a tiny little corridor, he's basically, I think, already lost. It's really just a question of how long can the... Um, how long can the... How long can they hold off? Especially in, like, Washington. They can survive a decent amount of time there. Also, Canada. What is your plan? You could go for the War Measures Act. Not that neither of those really benefit us too, too much. Like, the Dominion of Canada. Just thinking. Because they, they can... They're probably going to join the American Civil War. Which is unfortunate. Oh, we also have big boosts on you as well. I mean, I've got to take the big boost. And get this stuff rolling as fast as possible. Because we need to have a decent sized army. For our war against Sweden. And also, I'm, I'm thinking. We have a 4... I said 4 three, three, three is pretty good. Yeah, like you... Yeah, you're just the best. Okay. And what can I get on you? Entrenchment speed or... I could go for a winter expert. And you know what? It's actually not too bad. We're going to go for you. Makeshift bridge is also pretty good. Moving bonus over land. Or an entrenchment speed. I kind of feel like I don't want to go for either of you right now. Less organization lost when moving. Max entrenchment going up, I think. I mean, we want to go for the same for both. Like, do we want to go for an offensive or a defensive doctrine? I mean, our manpower is low. And just for that, we'll go for a defensive boost. Also, I will train you guys up. Ever so slightly, so you're at least not in green. Being in green, yeah, really, really hurts us. Yes, okay, so we've had our victory. You can now stop training because you are where I want you to be. I mean, you're still actually not where I want you to be because you are uh, still at 12 with infantry units, which is bad. But it's fine for now. Turn this off, turn this off. We shall now force, probably just force the king to abdicate. Yeah, let's force the king to abdicate. He did agree not to kick out of parliament, which was nice of him. But now we are uh, immediately throwing him to the curb. What do we want? We can get chief of staff. None of you, I think, really matters too much. I mean, just infantry is always nice. What about, like, a chief of army? Yeah, you know what? More population recruitment. Let's go. Give me, I mean, it's 0.5. What's, what would 0.5 be here? 0.5. If we're at 73,000. So that's, what, I mean, like, not, not 5,000. That, that can't be right. It's going to be, I mean, what's 75 divided by 5? It's 20 divided by 4. So, maybe like 15,000. Maybe like 15,000 more men, which might be enough to put like one more infantry into these groups. They can at least make them, I think, 14 with. 
Okay, peace conference is over. Puerto Rico has signed a peace deal with the Pacific States. So you guys are all now at war. The CSA did not take over New York City, which is actually kind of a rarity for them. And you're actually evoking the War Measures Act. Okay, that does change things a little bit for us. Mostly because it's going to mean that uh, the Canadians want it back to Pacific or back to the American Union state over the PSA. Will that mean that Canada declares war on the Pacific states, though? I'm not too sure, honestly. I'm not too sure. You're going to be advocating in about, about 40 days. I hope you're prepared for uh, to lose your job. I am prepared to kick you out. And have any of you guys getting some public health care. Yeah, so you definitely have gone down the old order tree. So my question more... Because I think Finland at this point is, I think, guaranteed to join the Reichs Pact. So for me, it's what is Sweden going to do? Because they... they they always join the Reichs Pact, right? I, I don't know if I've ever actually seen them stay neutral. Like... I mean, they didn't have the military government. I think the military government guarantees that they join the, um... The Reichs Pact? I mean, is it actually say in anything in here? Uh, Reich. What about, like, just the word, like, joins? That's not really what I'm looking for. I mean, I guess you're still joining something. So I guess not. Um, it might, it might just be, like, a decision then, instead of something in the focus tree. That's my best guess, at least. Okay, 1937 Spartacade. We will, uh, of course, attend. How many rifles do we have? We have, t we have exactly 2,000 rifles. It's either that or we throw them into you. We would have enough infantry equipment for all of the troops. Would I have enough manpower for everybody? It's 1,500 times 6. So there's 6 of you. Which is 6,000. It's 9. So it'd be we barely have enough. Let's at least make you 14 wits for now. It also probably makes you... Uh, Probably turn green again very soon. Yeah, let's get the entrench and speed. If we're going down the defensive tree, the more the you know the more defensive line of thinking, I think that makes the most amount of sense. You don't really seem to have any interest actually trying to unify Italy. At least not quite quite yet. Finland has joined the Reichs Pact. We knew that was going to happen. Nobody's surprised by that. When can you do the Belgrade Pact? On May 1st. So next month. So probably as soon as you're done motorized effort, you will form that faction. But of course, we really got to worry about Finland. They're putting all their troops on the border. Uh, again, like, that sucks. But that this whole region up here doesn't matter. We got, four, we got so many gold medals. Hell yeah. 4% stability. Thank you, Comrade Blair, for your uh, opening uh, of the international... Whatever. We can't support the CSA because we don't have enough guns for them. And we are making a decent amount of rifles. How is the CSA doing already? They've already taken over New Jersey. They should be able to take over New York soon. Like we could send volunteers over. But honestly, I don't even know if that's a good idea. Like We don't have the manpower necessary to... The FOP requires... Not that it's too far away. How many guns? 500 rifles? I mean, here's the thing. If I click this, does it actually only send them 2,600? That screw will do it. Send them guns and rifles. We can see what we can get done. There's been a syndicate of revolutionaries in uh, Switzerland, so that should lead to the crisis happening soon. Let's we'll see what you guys do. I mean, if Switzerland joins their alliance, that would be fantastic. But I do think that it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you enjoyed, click thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, and goodbye.